Welcome back. So we're on to 5.2, given a scenario, troubleshoot security issues. It's the second out of six in section 5.0, which is troubleshooting. And it's 22% of the CompTIA Cloud Plus um, exam. So let's get started. Uh, and we're taking this right from the exam objectives right here. 5.2, given a scenario, troubleshoot security issues. So privileges, are there missing privileges? Are people not able to get done what they need to do? Now, you still should give people only what they need to get things done. Um, be careful not to give too much. Uh, are, are they incomplete? Uh, is escalation need? What about keys? Is there keys to get people in? Uh, authentication. How do you authenticate? Is there something wrong with the authentication? So authentication, once again, is identifying. So that's like that you have your, your maybe a driver's license. That helps identify you. That does not uh, authorize you. Now, an, a municipality or a government may authorize you because you have that authentication to drive. Uh, another group might allow you to enter because of your age on that authentication. But the authentication doesn't allow it. It has to, it's the organization that gives you the authorization to then do something with it. Authenticate just says, this is who I am. Authorization is what you can do. So what about security groups? So there's the network security group, directory security groups. Keys and certificates. Um, with keys and certificates, are they expired? Because they do expire. Uh, they have a date. Uh, or they've been revoked. Maybe it got stolen, compromised, and you had to revoke it. Uh, there's a revocation list. Unfortunately, not. Uh, there are still systems out there that don't check the revocation list. Is it from a trusted authority or is it untrusted? Has it been compromised? Is it misconfigured? Is the name wrong? Um, so is there misconfigured or misapplied policies in your security? What about data security issues? Is data unencrypted? Is it okay that it's unencrypted? In a data breach, if that data is unencrypted, um, would you have to report? Um, what would be the levels of reporting? Is it misclassified? How important is it? Is it, do you need to, uh, is it personal identifiable information? Is it something that is a, is a trade secret for your, for your organization? Uh, what about encryption protocols? Are, do you have the late, uh, do you have good ones or do they have issues? Is there insecure ciphers being used? Or is there just exposed endpoints that shouldn't be exposed? Um, whether they have um, security behind them or not, do they even need to be open? Uh, what about your security appliance, appliances? Your in, uh, IPS, intrusion uh, prevention system. IDS intrusion detection system. Uh, what about NAC and RAFs? So a WAF, uh, web application firewall. Um, network, I think of it, NACL's network access control list. Um, but network access control, what can you get in and not? So are there unsupported protocols, protocols that shouldn't be working? Um, is the TAC internal or external? Um, do you treat things differently? And if you do, is that a good idea? Um, because if something gets internal, um, do they have access to more easily? Anyway, uh, these are things to you to think about and let's keep studying for our cloud plus and I'll see you in, your ne in the next video. Oh, just in case right here is where we were 5.2. I'll link this down below.